Welcome to G News, I'm Whitney Ashton. And I'm Shayla Gerardim. The second to last issue of the print paper was released today. Make sure you grab a copy from one of the new stands around campus. A quick Google search of the best college majors will reveal that computer science or some branch thereof is found on nearly every single list. But despite the popularity of the major, the computer science program at Pepperdine is only a contract major. This means that students take about half of the required classes in computer science and the other half in math. The university only has two full-time computer science professors. One of them, Stan Warford, wrote in an email to the graphic that enrollment in the joint major has tripled in the last few years. The program is growing fast and Pepperdine isn't keeping up. Several students are pushing Dean Rick Mars and Natural Science Division Chair Rodney Honeycutt to expand the program. If students are interested in signing the petition or pushing to expand the program, they are encouraged to send an email to ashley.broadwell at pepperdine.edu. Contestants took the stage last night to compete for the coveted crown of Mr. All-American. Seaver students came out to the Firestone Fieldhouse in support of their favorite freshman male athletes. Like a traditional beauty pageant, the contestants competed in categories of swimsuit, talent, and of course, on-stage interview. The annual springtime beauty pageant took place Wednesday evening with cross-country runner Jackson Hogan winning the title Mr. All-American. Hogan wowed audience members with his impressive performance on the keyboard. Spring is finally here and love is in the air. One Pepperdine student is hoping to spread that love to strangers by leaving love letters scattered around campus. The writer goes by me, a pseudonym she chooses to use to protect her identity from being discovered. Each letter contains the Pepperdine love letters hashtag and Instagram username. The initiative recently got its own Twitter account and a new Gmail account, PepperdineLoveLetters at gmail.com, invites students to send special letter requests for themselves or their friends. Me was inspired by Hannah Brencher, a TED conference video speaker who started the foundation More Love Letters. The foundation is now a global initiative that invites people to leave love letters to strangers or those in need of motivation. So, the next time you're walking around campus, keep an eye out. You never know. A stranger's letter just might pick you up when you're down. Associate Dean of Students and Director of Housing and Residence Life, Brian Dawson, is resigning at the end of spring semester. Dawson said he is leaving in order to pursue opportunities where he can have more interaction with students. The national search for a new director is now underway and is led by Dean of Students, Mark Davis. After initially narrowing the pool from 60 candidates to 10, the committee is conducting final interviews now. Pepperdine hopes to announce the new director by the end of the semester. In an effort to extend wireless coverage for students working outdoors, Wi-Fi access points will be installed in the outer parts of the buildings surrounding Jocelyn Plaza. Chief Information Officer Jonathan C. said that the Pepperdine network suffers intermittent Wi-Fi access and slow speeds, mainly due to the buildings physically blocking the signal. In an effort to provide students with better wireless coverage, C said that the Jocelyn Plaza access points will be the first of many to be added. Other possible access points that may be added in the future include the amphitheater, Adamson Plaza, and the seating area near the fountain. The Los Angeles County Supervisor and longtime supporter of Pepperdine, Zev Yaroslavsky, will give the Seaver College commencement address. The ceremony, which takes place Saturday, April 26, will feature some last-minute advice from this year's graduation speaker. Yaroslavsky was elected to the L.A. County Board of Supervisors in 1994. He has represented the Malibu municipality for the past 20 years, which includes Pepperdine's property. Yaroslavsky said he is looking forward to speaking at Pepperdine. Thanks for watching. Check out our website, pepperdine-graphic.com, for breaking news and exclusive online content. Facebook, tweet, or Instagram us at the handle at pepgraphic, and your text or images just might be featured in the paper. We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.